<laughs> Professor was already dead. Just like my father. <clears throat> Just like my father. My father was the professor. Oh no! This Reunited bitch by... killed her father with her ass gun. Luke, she pulled the cheeks with her ass. The cheeks? She pulled the cheeks. I'm so sorry. She murdered <laughs> in cold cheeks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. Um... Order! Order, please! Council, explain this episode notion at once! The victim was killed by a gunshot. What? I can't your excellency. <laughs> Ridiculous ploy by this rookie student, but clearly has no grasp of the facts. Objection! Objection! Eat my ass! No, that was good. Prosecutor Ouchie, <laughs> you was no, was no grasp of the facts. Look at me, okay, focusing. I beg your pardon? <laughs> as soon as it became apparent that the victim had uh, suffered that burn while in the restaurant. This is starting off wonderfully already. The whole case was turned upside. <laughs> there we go. Or have you not grasped that yet? <laughs> we did it. We did the classic case attorney thing. We turned the case on its head. <laughs> Your Excellency, the court must hear this witness again. If it is true, as we now believe, the victim was already dead before the, before the gunshot was heard. It's highly likely that Miss Brett knows something about it. Credible. I certainly didn't anticipate this twist of events. She turned him around. Sorry to say, Miss Brett. Maybe she pegged him before she killed him. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> but you will have to forget your luncheon engagement. You'll have to forget about your unforgettable luncheon. What? Your the steamed hands. Your steamed hands. God damn it! Don't bring that into this. <laughs> we already run it into this. <laughs> oh fuck! We did, didn't we? Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Um. <laughs> the justice system in our country may be in its infancy, but for such a word, all reasonable doubt must be dispelled before I am prepared to pass judgment. Thank you, Your Excellency. Hi, Brett. She put on her mask. What was that smile? N yes, of course. <gasps> She's speaking! I mean, I'd be delighted to help. Ah! Especially if it, <laughs> means it helps relations between my country and yours. She spoke! Our language. I <laughs> speak this whole time. Miss Miss Brett, you speak Japanese? Of course not, you fucking weeaboo. <laughs> well, of course I do. I am studying in your country after all. <laughs> but then, why have you been speaking through an interpreter until now? Because I'm a thought. Duh. My mother tongue, the Queen's English, is the most refined and elegant language in this world. As a gentlewoman, I try to avoid speaking in your vulgar oh, terms as much as possible. Bitch, that's racist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, nobody's sick of that shit. <laughs> but it seems the men in this land possess none of the chivalrous values of, of English gentlemen. <laughs> so, I see I shall have to lower myself to communicating with you all on your own level. Oh, uh, well, you are the epitome of a true English gentlewoman. We are truly honored by this lavish consideration you have so greatly, aff graciously afforded us. I want to see this bitch have a breakdown. <laughs> You're a bitch. <laughs> I see. In uh, that case, Miss Britt, I will now ask you to testify in your own words about the events leading up to the death of the victim, Dr. Wilson. <laughs> I 
So, we're finally getting to hear her own word on the matter. <laughs> Dude. This woman is sussy as fuck, Ryunosuke. Very sussy. And she is the sussiest baka. So the sussiest baka. The victim's, the victim's death. death. Unfortunately, I have no ma no idea when the poor man burnt his wrist like that. When the waiter brought my steak, the professor and I raised our glasses in a toast. As far as I've heard, the post-mortem report showed no other possible cause of death besides the gunshot. If there's some other way a man's life can be taken without leaving a trace, please, do show me. But, of course, this country's inferior investigative techniques probably wouldn't pick it up, pick up on it anyway. Well, bitch, you just admitted you poisoned him. <laughs> I probably did. Wait, what if it was in the sparkling water? <laughs> oh my... I mean, he did take a drink, and it was empty. She didn't drink it. Reverse, she didn't drink she, it. she put the glass in her bag. Her and it wasn't wet. She yeah. never poured anything into it. She never poured it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch. <laughs> that most captivating and beautiful testimony will go down on the Supreme Court's history. Look at it. He does it. <laughs> I hope that's the last time I'll have to sully my lips with the coarse tones of your unbecoming tongue. Oh, forgive me. I do hope I haven't insulted anyone. <laughs> not at all, not at all. It is a delight to hear you speak, dear lady. As it seems very clear from your technique. Uh, testimony? Technique? Your testimony. Technique! Technique, 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 <laughs> I will be speaking to your country's Minister of Justice about what has happened here today. The Minister of Justice? I don't think you will be once we're done with you. <laughs> I don't think so either. May that irritating little bully of a student be given the hardest punishment possible. Amen. Uh. <laughs> oh, thanks. Was, was that a prayer then? <laughs> well, you'll have to forgive the irritation, Miss Brett, and put up with a cross examination now. I expect you've noticed that this little bully of a student, as you put it, doesn't miss much. I'm sure I don't need to remind you, Council, that this will be your final cross-examination of this trial. We failed to demonstrate any problems with this witness's testimony. I will be ruling on the case immediately. Is that clear? I, I'm... Oh! Aww. Oh! It's a baby! <laughs> yes, Your Excellency. Uh, I can see it now. The very last thing that we got, Roger, got a shout objection. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> you may proceed with cross examination. Ooh, I'm excited for that. Cross examination. Katie's first objection. The victim's dead. Hey, right, press everything. Yes! No idea when the poor man broke his hand. But his hand was on the searing hot plate for at least three whole seconds. I couldn't have not have noticed. Do you think so? Let me ask you something. Sorry? Ever since I arrived in this courtroom, and even still now, <laughs> the fly on those unsightly brick black trousers of yours has been wide open. You can't not have noticed, can you? Huh? What? <laughs> 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 You hadn't realized. The dear lady is absolutely right. Your penis is out. As your friend, you've embarrassed me as well as yourself, Rinosuke. I'm sorry, my pants can't contain it. <laughs> your sausage should not be seen in the court. <laughs> Listen, my, pit, my, ex, my big clappers already take up way too much room in these pants. <laughs> Don't bring up the fact that you're submissive and breedable in the court. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
Dr. Wilson was a true English gentleman. We're getting the truest truly water out here. <laughs> you, he chose honorable silence over a vulgar scream. Can your tiny brains imagine such a thing? Oh, yes. I think my tiny brain can. Yes! You're just buttering up because you have to pause for her. Well, I can't. <laughs> because you think something bad's going to happen if you fuck up. Anyway. She wants to clap her cheeks. Look at that thing! <laughs> Rest. Yes. As you testified before, you were drinking carbonated water. Is that right? Carbonated water. This has got to be something that we're like to say. Dr. Wilson was only permitted to drink water at that time, if you remember. Which explains why he ordered that drink. Correct, waiter? Exactly as you said, sir. Although... Although... Whether or not the professor actually drank any of the water when I delivered the steak to the table... I'm afraid that I did not run out of that. Hmm... Damn you. Ah, I have enough English to understand that at least. And the benefit of the others, of course. It means bless you! <laughs> Uh, uh, I think it means the exact opposite. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> as far as I've heard, the postmortem reports have no other possible cause of death besides the gunshot. Yes! Yes! Yes, it's written here in the paperwork. Fatal hemorrhage from ballistic trauma. Yes. Luckily for all of us, a little burn on the wrist isn't going to kill us. And as there were no other signs of trauma on the victim's body to indicate some other cause of death... It can only have been from the bullet from your gun to put an end to this innocent man's life. But it doesn't make sense. The burn must have happened straight away. It was first brought to the table by the leader. It wouldn't have been that hot otherwise. And that's true. If it had cooled even slightly, it wouldn't have been able to make a burn like that. The victim burned his wrist on the hot plate as soon as it was brought from the couch from the kitchen. Then he must have already been dead at that point. And yet, it, the fact is that the victim was killed by a gunshot to the chest. Until you are able to show the court evidence to disprove that, this is a complete waste of time. I concur. Prosecutor Archie is right. He just straight up says nothing. Okay, I just... It's been a day, so I just wanna... I wanna oh, yeah. check something real quick. Yeah, that's empty. That has water in it. Okay, the bottles don't have any legible writing on them. Up behind uh, them is empty. even switch the plates? Oh, well, press everything! Not leaving a trace. If someone is shot, or strangled, or stabbed, or thrown from a height, However, a person's life is taken, there's always telltale traces in the body. Quite right, dear lady. Oh my god, it's Dahlia Hawthorne. She poisoned him. She's a medical student. She poisoned him. I mean, yeah, she totally could have. Also, spoilers for uh, the game that Dahlia's in. Uh, yeah, yeah, shh. <laughs> <laughs> And as our police force <laughs> determined the body of the deceased, there can be no doubt. Uh, it was only the first case I mean, of that game, so... Kinda, <laughs> we've already kind of proved that they aren't as reliable as we'd like them to be here. Yeah. Isn't that right, Professor? Uh, professor? <laughs> Inspector Hosanaga? As I've said, I always aim for a flawless investigation. There would be physical traces. No, that's true. Maybe there's some other way of killing someone that doesn't leave a mark. Heaven forbid you doubt me, young man. 
You're going to have to tell everyone exactly how you think the professor did lose his life. Otherwise, I'm afraid your argument falls rather flat, doesn't it? I know exactly what you did, Miss Medical Student. <laughs> oh no, perish the thought, calling such a sweet la young lady's innocence into question? On my honor, I, Paketsuchi Auchi, will cut down any who dare cast such aspirations. They have killing someone that leaves no trace. We need some evidence to back us up here. Evidence. But, of course, this country's inferior to inferior investigative te techniques probably wouldn't pick up on it anyway. Yes! Yes, I poisoned him. I'm admitting it right now by telling you you can never find out that I poisoned him. <laughs> inferior? What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> you suck. In the lands of the Great British Empire, the police store everything found at a crime scene for later investigation. But in this country, you investigate once, and that's the end of it. Isn't that so? Quite right. La Carnival was open for business as usual today, just days after the accident. Exactly. Which means that even if the investigation what? takes on a different direction, vital evidence may be lost. Wait, what? Uh... What? Are you gonna get a tutorial? Something? He reacted to something. What? He did react to that. It doesn't even occur to your na naive detectives to try to preserve the crime scene. I'm trying to be as tactful about this as I can. You understand? I think we're about to get a tutorial. I think so too. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Killer blow! The lady is as formidable as she is beautiful. Oh, that's right. We never figured out why he's bleeding. Yeah. What if uh, he also drinks some of the poison, but he did, oh, okay, did drink a fatal she amount? she made him drink her poison? <laughs> yeah. That could be it. We'll but he just didn't drink a fatal amount of it. And that's why he's coughing yeah. up blood. <laughs> if it... Actually, he's admitting your police may be alive. I very much doubt that. So there's something about that, Miss Fretch. This moment before, something didn't seem quite right. Okay. What do you think, Rinosuke? It's going terribly. I don't know which aggressor I'm not turning up any new information. Yes, as I suspected. She's a tough witness. We need to find a way to break her testimony, or the cross-examination will be over. Wait, I just noticed we've only had two people at the stand. Is the gimmick of this game that we cross-examine two people at once? That we have to see how they react to each other to figure out where lies are in the testimony? Oh! <laughs> that could be something. I have to find a way. Must be some clue to help us find a chink in their armor. Kazuma. Yes, my love. <laughs> There's one thing I know. Something that's been bothering. Bothering you? You mean about Miss Brett? No, about Hasanaga. Person standing next to her, Inspector Hasanaga. He looks tough. The detective? <laughs> yeah. It seemed to react a little strangely to his friend's life. <laughs> uh, yep, tutorial time! Yeah. Wondering if that might be scary. Might present an opening, maybe. That towel of his is probably covered in blood. Yeah. Alright, I have an idea. Try pressing her on that last statement one more time. I think so, but... This... <laughs> this time, instead of targeting the woman herself, let's see what we can get out of the detective. <laughs> that is the gimmick. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, my cousin's still getting find out soon enough, I suppose. I put Smith's bread in her state. No idea when the poor man burned his wrist. Post bitches. Yes. Such as inferior ignorance. Yes. <laughs> What do you mean by that? Blah blah blah. Blah. Blah blah blah. 
Blah blah blah. I'm blah blah blah. I'm an ass. Oh, and there's. Wait. <laughs> yes, yes, there it is again. It's just the reaction is just the same as before. Up until now, the detective has been in a stand with Miss Brett as her interpreter. But things are very different now. For this testimony, the detective is just listening to what the Englishwoman has to say. This could be a golden opportunity. You mean? <laughs> when people are actually testifying, they usually are very careful to not let anything slip. However, when they're listening to someone else speak, you'll find they often let their guard down. Look at him. Lost his own thoughts. Ah! Aha! It's time to pursue the man in his train of thought. Sorry, pursue? Ah, here we go. I'll explain how to do it now, Rhinos. It all starts with a witness mark. The white marker. At the moment, we're far. We're farkest? Farkest on your sprite. <laughs> the person is actually. Who the person's actually making the yeah, the, the, the current statement. Oh. oh, we can just slip in between them by pressing A and D. Ooh. Turn your attention to other people in the stand. There might be more than two people at points, aren't there? Yeah. You'll be able to pursue them with space. If you can catch the person at just the right time, you might uncover some new information to pursue. If you ever notice a strange atmosphere among the people in the stand, take a good look around. Alright, so first I should move the marker across with an E. Focus on the detective and then pursue him in space. Okay. Wait. <coughs> Wait. I'm guessing these are gonna be less obvious in the future. Uh, yeah, probably. Excuse me! Excuse me? Excuse me! <laughs> what is the meaning of this? <laughs> uh, so sorry. I didn't mean to shock you. He really was lost in his thoughts. Deeply. <laughs> he was very deep. It looks like you were thinking something just now, Inspector. Perhaps having heard what the lady next to you had to say? If there's something you'd like to say, please, cheer up with the court. <laughs> Um, this, uh... What is the meaning of this? This song is really good. It is. The music is good so far. Yeah. It's the delightful English woman who's testifying at the moment. If you can't find a fault with her testimony, then the cross examination should be over immediately. Oh, is that how it works? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> hmm. The detective is, is in the stand, which makes him a valid witness. <laughs> yes, now that I mentioned the fact that he's intimately involved with the case. And Ooh, intimate. Inspector Kosanaga. Yes. You have something to add in relation to the statement just made by Miss Brett? Oh, Dr. Matt is playing Dead by Daylight. There, say hi to Dr. Matt, everyone. He saved the world. And he's he a certified gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, if you don't mind, I would like to speak. <laughs> I will kill you dead. <laughs> the lady is right. Our country... Our country's police practices are not as modern as those used in Great Britain. Which is why I, Satoru Hosonaga, always strive to make every investigation I'm involved in flawless. What do you really mean by that? I'll tell you what I mean. I won't have evidence lacking on my watch. I'm not afraid to take everything I can from a scene of the crime. It's preserving evidence, you see. They call me a crime scene thief. I'm not ashamed of what I've done. <laughs> oh god. What if this dude dies halfway through the crime scene? Crime scene thief. 
Well, it looks like the lady's remarks touch a nerve there. Take this, for example. The water- <laughs> She poisoned it! Oh, she poisoned it. Oh, oh. Is that- <laughs> This is the bottle of carbonated water that I took from the victim's table and on the day in question. And yes, it's lost all this fizz having been opened three days ago. <laughs> But it was carbonated water. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, there's some left in the bottle. See it. One day our police force will be among the best in the world. The time is coming, I guarantee it. <laughs> oh, he's getting worked up, which means that he's coughing mm -hmm. a lot more. It's a control the witness's actions, but I do understand the sentiment. I got a new item in my steam inventory. The court will accept the glass bottle of water as evidence. Inspect this shit immediately. Uh, yeah, going to inspect this real quick. Hang on, hang on, people. Ah! Okay, so let's look at every fucking direction. We can look at the label. Oh, label. How do I move this? Label is written in a foreign language that I don't recognize. You know what it says, Kazuma? I think it's French. It must be a very expensive water. Yes, but what does it say? I was asking. Then go to France and ask. <laughs> you could just say that you don't know. <laughs> There's the water in the eye. Okay, we can see it. Yeah, we can look at this too. This carbon water is like a drink Dr. Pussy never had. Looks like there's a little left in the bottle. Although it's just plain water now. It probably yeah. still tastes like ass. I've been sweating so much. I'm absolutely parched. Just have a sip of this to keep me going. No! You cannot do that. You'll die. <laughs> For one thing, that's evidence. You can't go drinking evidence. <laughs> You're right. We don't know what might be inside, do we? You never cease to amaze me, Ryanosuke. In more ways than one. Oh, yeah. Be anything in this water? Yes! What's the matter? You've gone quiet all of a sudden. I think it might have just worked something out. Interesting possibility. I think that's what we needed to examine then. Yep. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Mm, it's Fred. Can you confirm this is indeed the bottle from which you drank on the day of the victim's death? Yes, it was that bottle. Shut up. She seemed to avert her eyes when she answered the judge's question. Very well, Kathleen may resume the cross examination. Victor will kindly control his fervor. Okay, that's probably the statement. Or okay, but like, no, they this couldn't is... tell that kind of thing back then, at least here, because if they're just looking at him, they wouldn't know that he was poisoned unless it was a specific kind. I think it's a yes. statement. Yep. Was this the bottle of water? Actually, there's the one method of killing a man without leaving a trace that comes to mind. You motherfucker. Obviously, I'm referring to poison. Poison? On the day of his death, we knew that Dr. Wilson drank from this bottle of carbonate. Could it be that there was poison inside? Oh. Could it be that the professor actually died after taking a sip from his glass? Order, order, order. Order, 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 order. Order, order, order. And on the day, I was sitting at the same table as the professor, able to sip lip the poison into his drink. The one person who could have possibly done it. Giselle Brett, it was you. Objection! It's just outrageous to suggest such a thing without a scrap of evidence. Drink the bottle, then. Little rookie imbecile. <laughs> if you Have trust you ever considered the delicate situation our, our country finds itself in now? 
Now show me how much you trust your defender. <laughs> you trust yeah, the witness. Sip, baby. <laughs> yep. It's like that. It's just, it's just like 3-1. Okay. <laughs> it's literally 3-1. All you gotta do is take one of these cold killer X pills. <laughs> you because trust you your witness so much that show us your trust and take a sip of that water. <laughs> <laughs> An accord of friendship with the British Empire. Have you even the vaguest inkling that your rash accusations could jeopardize the entire treaty? Objection! This is not a political arena. This is a trial to determine one individual's guilt with respect to no... To no? To one crime. <laughs> the fact that this woman is British makes no difference. We are here to determine the truth. <laughs> um, if I may... I will silence you forever on this description. <laughs> <laughs> It is you who should be silent. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Dear lady. Where did that come from? She, she just snapped. Oh, so not again. I'm afraid I may have spoken unfairly before. I offered my most humble apologies. Sorry, my lady, but to what are you referring? I described your police force as inferior. But no matter how inferior they may be, you still investigated this particular point thoroughly, I believe? This bottle, I mean, Inspector. The bottle, I mean, Inspector, and whether it contained poison or not. That is why... We did. Have you forgotten what my guiding principle is already? I strive for a flawless investigation every time. I don't believe it. Naturally, we tested the inside of the bottle and its content. And what did you find, Inspector? I ordered tests for every toxin that's available in this country at the present time. We could find no trace of any describe description in the, a poison in any description in the bottle of carbonated water, Your Excellency. What? Are you sure? That's then why are you acting like you're poisoned? <laughs> the tests were meticulously carried out by the chief coroner himself. No! Oh god. He keeps slamming his head against that desk. I'm very grateful to all of you, to all you Japanese. You successfully established my complete innocence in this horrid affair. Thank you. That's where the table comes in. She turned him around, so he took the wrong bottle. Oh, shit. <gasps> that could be it, yeah. Okay. But of course, dear lady, the pleasure was all ours. So sure. This can't be right. Everything falls into place when he was poisoned. Thank you, Counsel. I think that girl's examination has cleared everything. The prosecution has asserted a shot just from this gun was the only conceivable cause of death. Furthermore, the accused, or by his own admission, is holding this weapon, the only possible culprit. Down for. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. But wishes to apologize for the great inconvenience this caused you, Miss Brett. Oh no. I'm just glad the matter is resolved. For proceeding, I'll assess the counsel for the defense. Do you have any further new evidence presented at the court at this current point? Gazima! Sorry, <clears throat> Ryanoskin. I have nothing more. Well, if you'll excuse me now, I really must be leaving. What's that? The fuck was that? Oh! Please wait. 
This is it. What is the meaning of this? Forgive me for intruding on poor proceedings here, Sensei. To Sato Mikotoba, judicial assistant to the defense! Mikotoba? The darkest tower. There's nowhere left to go. She appeared like a bolt of lightning. In her hand, she carried a small package wrapped in a fruit cloth. Ooh. To be continued! To be continued, alright. That's pretty progress. Hold on. Oh. I guess it's a shorter episode compared to what we've got so far. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> well then. Uh, next Find time. Contradiction. Uh, die. On the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll finally see the end of this trial. 